Okay, so in this video we'll be going over S-Class May, but just before that I also want to give a little um, something about World Champion Qualifiers. Uh, they Victor's first one, they got over 20 million points, and top 5 got over uh, 17 million points. Now, what's up is because um, if you were to put all these top factions in a group together a couple weeks ago, these scores wouldn't have been possible. And... I won't say much on it, but um, the meta is fucked at the moment. Um, if you know, you know. But um, fast players are now on steroids, and um, yeah, if you if you can't build a team um, that's as fast as theirs, you're just gonna get smoked. And at the moment, there's no defense teams that can um, last long. Like Javier is not as good as he should be in the game, and then there's. Um, you know, Jackie. Jackie's been fucked by um, by Magna, and then there's Mercer. Axel's the counter, um, and then there's non RNG leads. They just don't stand a chance anymore either. Literally, the the way the way it is at the moment in the game is um, how can I make my defense team last an extra turn or two? That's literally the mentality of everyone who's making the de defense teams at the moment. And going into War Champions Four, uh, if they don't. I don't know if they didn't bring out like a defensive leader that can maybe make some teams um, last a few more rounds. It's gonna be expensive as shit. Like um, put it like this, I think it was uh, World Champions one where it's a turn three six star meta. Um, people just weren't defending. They just were not defending. Um, it was literally how fast could you get around the team and repair. And the reason I bring this up is. Because I've heard stories from like War Champions 1 where people spent $1 to $200 on just repairing camps. That's not including cans. And I think if they don't fix the meta as it is right now, I reckon since people scored that much and got Avevic just got over 300 wars in this weekend, I reckon uh, coins used on repairs will be probably more than that easily. Yeah, uh, the meta is currently fucked as Hope Scoopley do something. I don't know what they can do just to... I don't know. They've, they've fucked it pretty much. they just really fucked up. Okay, but going on to S-Class for me. Uh, you know, eh, basic look. Meh. Attacks at 5,200. All right. Pretty high. Uh, defense, 3,000. Uh, HP, 4,200, which is pretty high. Um... And lasting effects, 900% damage up to two enemies. Those enemies get 100% heal reduction for two turns. Up to two enemies get minus 40 AP. Now, to me, that sounds pretty meh. Um, you know, the damage is alright. It's pretty high. Heal reduction, I don't think it's going to really matter. And then the AP minus, it's a nice little bonus, I guess. It's not really anything to scream and shout about. And then you got Norm Life, which is becoming quite the uh, quite the active score at the moment. Very popular. Uh, defense down and AP gain. Turn two, one enemy gets normalized for two turns. Up to two enemies get fifty percent uh, defense down uh, for two turns. This character gains thirty five AP. The thirty five AP is very shit. Uh, the defense down for two people. It's random, so eh. And then one person gets normalized. I mean, eh. Magna can normalize in turn one, so it's like, eh, pretty shit. And then you got Waste Knot. I mean, she does a lot of damage, that's cool and all, but um, she's not going to be meta. That's pretty much it. And you're probably thinking, Dan, well, you're not really giving this character much of a chance. Your opinion's changed quite a bit. Yeah, Magna, Magna is meta. She's not ranged. Simple as that. It's just she's not going to be good. Uh, if I was to throw on the tier list, B. She's not bad, she's not good, she's just very meh. And then you got the weapon, 30% attack, nice. Second slot, you just ignore. And then at the start of every turn, this character regains 50% of their HP. I mean, I would say you could throw on a defense team, but <laughs> defense teams just don't exist at the moment. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, also, I'll, I'll give my opinions on Nick, since he's a very bare bones opinion on mate. She's just meh. I wouldn't pull for her. I don't think she's going to be meta. Um, I don't think she really has a place in the game at the moment, to be honest. Okay, quick review on Nick as well, since the audio is absolutely fucked at the moment. 
Um, Nick, he's meh. Um, yet again, I know not a lot of people are going to like, like me saying that, but I don't think he's going to be very good. Um, I know he does 90% damage on his rush. He's got Headhunter, very cool stuff. He has Infection Resistance and he has, um, what do you call it, uh, Crit Up on his active, which I'm sure lots of people are jizzing their pants over. I'm thinking, wow, he's great, trade is no more, but um, here's the thing. Uh, trade has not really been a problem for many at the moment. As long as you deal with him fast, you know, it, you're sorted. Like, there's no real problem there. And here's the thing. Uh, if, you, if you're running, like, a Nick uh, and you use resistance, if Trader goes off, more than likely you're going to give him enough AP by hitting into him. And he's just going to get you in, like, a taunt loop. And then that infection resistance is gone, you're going to die out. So, just run a, heal, a fast heal weapon, which will be in the next league store. Very convenient stuff, right? Um, so, he is a decent amount of pumpkins to grab, uh, and then you got the stash as well. Um, but what I do recommend people do is just wait until the end of the end week. Then just decide, do I want to go all in on the stash? Do I want to get Nick and the stash? Or, you know, see where you're at. Because personally, you're not getting him uh, as the S class. Like if we did Brutus, you're going to have to level up two six stars. Two, well, two five stars, then level up the six stars. Then you get the S class, and then you got to level up the S class. So it's a lot of fucking gear, and it's a lot of trainers, and nobody has that at the moment. So um, yeah, it's just a lot of effort for a very mediocre character. I don't see many people uh, replacing him on an attack team. I know most people still run like a Lily, and now a Princess, a Doc, and a Command, which is a good team. But like in teams sort of like those. Would you really replace anyone for a Nick just because he has infection resistance and he does a little bit of damage to a line? It's like, not really. Princess already does a thousand percent damage to a line and has normalized, so I don't know. I just don't see him being very viable in many teams. I'm sure free to play will love him, but um, for people who are, um, who have like a decent amount of S classes, um, like Princess. Mercer, Priya, and all of them. I just don't think he's going to be very viable um, replacements for them. So, in you know, in my opinion, I would hold off, see where you, where you want to weigh out your um, your tokens. Like, do you want to go all in stash and whatnot? Probably I'll go all in on stash because I don't really see him being that viable, uh, and I don't really see him being um, useful to me. Like, I've got S-classes that I haven't even leveled. Just because I just don't have the gear. I don't really see how use of them. And, you know, I can't really be wasting shit. So, with that being said, um, I would love to hear your opinions on Nick, on May, and whatnot. And, um, yeah, please do give me your opinions on those two characters. And are you afraid of War Champions? Are you happy for it? And all that, leave your comments in the description. And uh, peace out.